Congratulations to Governor Mitt Romney, winner of the 2012 Iowa caucuses. Congratulations to Senator Santorum for a very close second place finish and an excellent race here. I think it's important to understand not only did we win the certified vote, but if you had all the other votes, we'd win by even more. So this is a solid win. It's a much stronger win uh, than, uh, than what Governor Romney claimed to have on the day that uh, uh, the, uh, the, an uncertified vote that had him up eight. Meanwhile, the Iowa Republican Party, having previously thrown up their hands and declaring that they couldn't figure out who won, apparently later in the day decided that there was a winner. The chairman of the party called into a radio show to say who won. It is indisputable that the certified caucus results have Rick Santorum winning by 34 votes. I feel I owe Senator Santorum's supporters and his folks an apology uh, because I think the fact that he was leading uh, and won the 1,766 precincts, I think, seemed to get lost in the focus over the, the eight precincts whose forms... Uh, we weren't able to obtain a party headquarters. So, he, he, he declaring this, then, uh, a victory for Rick Santorum? Yeah, the certified vote results. You're declaring this a victory for Rick Santorum? Yeah. Yeah. Certified vote result. It's a big apology to Rick Santorum. He totally won. There's no tie. There's no split. Nothing like that. Rick Santorum wins. So says the Iowa Republican Party chairman on the radio. Until a press conference about an hour later. But the one thing that we can't say is we did not we do not have the certify we can't certify every precinct in the state. Can we even say who the winner is? Or do we have to put kind of an asterisk or what's the right way to Well that, I mean that's listen, that's a decision you have to make and, and obviously, you know, the campaigns and pundits you know will make their determinations on that. So the candidates and the pundits get to decide who won Iowa. So says the Iowa Republican Party, which runs the caucuses. Tell me again why these guys in Iowa are entrusted with the great honor and privilege, not to mention the monetary windfall that comes with first-in-the-nation status. In 2008, the candidates are estimated to have spent more than $51 million campaigning in Iowa. This time around, more than $12 million was spent on ads alone. Every presidential election season, Iowa gets not just millions of dollars spent in the state, they also get a year's worth of attention for even their most parochial issues from the most powerful political figures in the country, and they get the whole of the national media essentially for a year, all for something they do not take seriously enough to capably pull off. We don't know who won the Iowa caucuses, and the Iowa Republican Party doesn't really seem to care about it. Enough, okay? Next time around, first in the nation, maybe we should draw straws. Anyone?